Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we are going to create profiles related to SEP certificate as well as PKC certificate. SEP or SEEP stands for Simple Certificate Enrollment Protocol. This is a kind of certificate which you can create. Let me show you here like uh, create profile. You can give as a certificate, for example, um, SEP certificate here and choose Windows 10 device specific settings. And here I can choose here as SEP sp specific certificate. Under this configuration, it's going to ask me, hey, is this certificate type is for the user or device? So whenever you, wherever you generate that specific certificate like information, that all to be filled up here so that this specific uh, SEP certificate can be assigned for your mobile devices or your devices. So this is uh, this certificate is more uh, more used in your device enrollment process, especially for Intune. Let's also check for PKCS certificates. PKCS stands for Public Key Pair Certificates. This is also going to be used. Let me show you that before that you can go back to instead of SEP certificate, you can choose the PKCS certificate. Here you need to configure uh, like a renewal threshold, certificate validity. So all this information to be uh, supplied, post to that, you need to export that. And that information can be imported under PKCS Imported Certificates. So this is where you're going to uh, use the same file. That's how it's going to work for the uh, PKCS. So all these configurations can be done from the profiles. Since you have the advantage of the Azure AD group securities uh, and you can split them and you can configure this by having this PKCS uh, that is private and public key pay certificates so that you, your email encryption is the most common scenario where uh, you're going to use for importing this PFX certificate to your Intune and as many as users may have uh, different certificates to encrypt their email but having these a uh, specific private key of those uh, certificates uh, must exist on your user's device so that they can decrypt the previously encrypted whatever the emails communication is running on those devices.